you're starting medical school and you're not sure what tools you need in this video we'll go over the essential things you need to buy before you start your medical school so the first thing that you need to buy is a stethoscope let's go and look at the different options available i'm gonna start with amazon and type stethoscope here and see the different options available if you're not familiar with the brands of stethoscopes, Leibman is the number one. So we'll look at the different options they have. Here we can see class three, class three. Here you can see the cardiology, class four. I'm gonna actually go to the Litman website itself and see the different options they have. So here is the Litman stethoscopes. And here you can see the different options. Again, the digital, cardiology, class three. You see the classic here, they have three, two, pediatric, two infant, lightweight. In my opinion, the best option for medical students to start with is the classic class three, this one here. But we're gonna have a quick look at the digital and the cardiology one as well. The cardiology one is more for cardiologists or people who are more professional. So I don't recommend it for medical students because it's more expensive. It allows you definitely to hear more subtle changes. It's a better stethoscope overall, but it's more expensive and you might not need it as a medical student. The other very cool stethoscope is the digital one, which allows up to 40 times amplification. It has noise cancellation and I'll show you now how that makes a difference. And you can also connect it to an app. Here you can see the difference between the noise cancellation and no noise cancellation in the digital stethoscope. Let's look quickly at the prices of these different options. So this is the classic uh, class three, which is the one I recommend for a medical student. It starts from $129, so that's not bad. The cardiology one, uh, this is the digital, $329. And let's see the cardiology one. Here is the cardiology one at $199. Another very important med school essential is actually a colored pen. It's not expensive, but it's very effective in having you write notes in different colors in level of importance. They're helpful in your studying and also in, on your clinical rotations to differentiate the tasks that residents give you. If you search multicolored pen on Amazon, you'll find these. These are my favorite. They're only $12 because they have all the colors in one pen. Number three is scrubs. Although most hospitals might give you scrubs for free, some students prefer to buy their own scrubs. Let's have a look at the different options available. So there are different types of scrubs. They usually start from $25. The most famous one is probably Fix, but it's more expensive than the rest. Your white coat is another very important essential that you need, especially on your clinical rotations. Usually your medical school gives you white coats, but if they didn't, let's have a look at a few options. So if we type white coat for doctors, you'll find all these options. They start from $14 and you can go for more expensive options. You'll realize that these are long white coats. Post medical students wear short white coats. So you can type here for medical students and you'll see the difference here. They are shorter white coats. You also need a suture practice kit for your surgery rotations. So let's look at the different options available. If we type suture practice kit here, we'll see a ton of options and they're actually also cheap. They start from $30. Let's go over one to explain to you what you actually need from these. So let's take this picture here. So this is the needle holder and you definitely need this to practice suturing. You need the forceps or the adsen and you need scissors. This is not very important and you don't need the blades, but these three are extremely important for you to suture. And of course you need the pad for the suturing, which is, uh, let's see. I don't think it comes with this one. So maybe this one, you can see the pad that you can practice with and it has different types of incisions that you can suture on. And of course the sutures that come with most of these suture kits. Other important essentials are a coffee mug to keep you awake, an iPad or a laptop, and some textbooks which could be electronic or printed. For textbooks, your school usually will tell you what resources you need to buy. So I recommend you ask each of your professors for the materials they recommend for their subject. However, I'll go over some of the best books for medical students that I recommend for you. And of course, if you're looking for materials to prepare for your step one or step two CK exam, I have detailed videos and blogs that I'll leave the link for them in the description below. Let's go to Amazon. For anatomy, my favorite book is Grey's Anatomy. So let's have a look at the one, this one, Grey's Anatomy for students. For physiology, the book I recommend is Guidon. However, it's a big book. Another good one is BRS Physiology. For pathology, I recommend Robbins. 
or Pathoma, which is another very good pathology book. For pharmacology, Lipping Code is very popular. For internal medicine, Harrison of Internal Medicine or Davidson. For surgery, you can use Tabiston, but remember it's a very big book. So I recommend you stick with whatever your professor recommends because most surgery textbooks are very advanced for a level of a medical student. I hope this video helped you in deciding on the essentials that you need before you start your medical school. I'll leave the links for all the things that I mentioned in this video in the description below. And if you find any value in this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you everyone so much for watching and good luck on your medical school.